this is a diagram of a portal governor it has similar features as the what governor it has two rotation balls it has a sleeve that can move through a shaft but now it has the central load mass which provides additional gravitational force to the system when the sleeve goes up the balls also go up with the same displacement so the objective as in the watt governor is also to derive the relative distance between the ball and the pivot so we also name it here H the links have the same length which is L but we can notice now the connections at the bottom link to the sleeve is not in line with the connection at the pivot so we have different angle from each link to a vertical line parallel to the shaft let's denote the top angle as alpha and the bottom angle is beta because the balls are rotating we have the centrifugal force at the ball FC and the moment at the pivot because of the force is FC times the height H and the direction of the moment is counterclockwise let's say MC so MC is FC multiplied by H we have also gravitational force by the mass of the ball which is MG and the moment at the pivot is MG multiplied by the arm length let's denote this as R so the moment has now clockwise directions let's say MM so MM is M multiplied by G multiplied by R now here we have a central load mass M capital where the weight is divided equally to each side of the system thus we have one more gravitational force that is M capital G divided by 2 and what we need to know now is how this Mg over 2 contributes to the moment at the pivot and this is where you need to revisit back the concept of couple and couple force system okay so this force mg over 2 will produce moment at the ball connection here counterclockwise let's denote this one as my which is mg multiplied by that arm length here let's put this as y so my will be equals to mg over 2 multiplied by y remember the concept of couple force system we can have the force mg over 2 here as well and with the arm length r it contributes the moment to the pivot clockwise and let's name it mg so mg equals to mg over 2 multiplied by r now this moment my will also contribute to the moment at the pivot remember the concept of couple we can replace this moment with couples of linear forces in horizontal directions because the moment is counterclockwise so the couple at this connection will be toward the shaft and at the bottom is at the opposite directions let's say the force is fz so this FZ should be multiplied by that length to produce MY and let's say that length is Z so FZ multiplied by Z equals to moment MY and thus FZ is MY over Z now this FZ then contributes to the moment at the pivot which is FZ multiplied by H and the moment has clockwise direction so we have another component for mg which is fz multiplied by h so we have the total mg which is mg over 2 multiplied by r plus mg over 2 multiplied by y divided by z multiplied by h okay so the resultants of all the moments at the pivot must be zero 
and if we agree that the counterclockwise direction is positive then what we have is MC minus MM minus MG equals to zero and therefore MC equals to MM plus MG now MC is FC multiplied by H where FC is the centrifugal force given by the mass of the ball multiplied by the speed square of the shaft or omega square and multiplied by the radius of rotation so MC is M omega square R multiplied by H equals to MM plus MG so let's move some of this part here so we have more space so let's write down here FZ equals to MY over Z alright so if we rearrange these equations to obtain H then H will be G over omega square multiplied by 1 plus M capital over 2M multiplied by 1 plus YH over ZR this YH over ZR is not so nice to see in the equations this is actually Y over Z over R over H where Y over Z is tangent beta and R over H is tangent alpha okay so let's replace this term with tangent beta over tangent alpha okay if we look at these equations for H now this G over omega square is the equations for the word governor which informs us that if we have large omega or high speed of rotations we have small value of H which means that the height is getting small because the sleeve is moving up so higher as well as the ball this can create instability to the system now for a portal governor because we have this central load we have this additional term here where this term will always be then one if you look at here for the second term this term cannot be zero which again makes the whole term in the bracket will be more than one if we have high speed then the value of g over omega square will be multiplied by the value of this bracket here which prevent the value of h to be very small as in the case of the watt governor so at high frequency the sleeve can have small displacement around the equilibrium position all right so in summary for a potter governor if the connections of the link at the bottom and at the top is not in line h can be given by the following equations this is a general equations where angle alpha and beta are not the same if alpha and beta are the same we will have a nice equations here the second one is where the bottom and the top link are in line and in this case alpha equals to beta so the equation is given the same as in before but multiplied by the term L sine alpha over the radius of rotation R okay guys until then see you in the next video